Good morning from Big Sky Country. I'm Stacy, owner of Montana Used Bricks, and I want to thank whoever called me out that I did not say hello from Big Sky Country in my last video. I didn't, and I realized that when I was editing it, and somebody called me out on it, so <laughs> way to go. This week, my video is going to be a lot different. It's kind of a vlog, kind of a this and that, and a mismatch of stuff, basically. It's going to be me ranting, venting, and complaining. <laughs> so if that's not your type of video, feel free to click off and go watch one of my happier videos. Because I haven't been feeling well, obviously, you can still tell that I'm congested. I have not been doing much of anything. My husband and I have both been sick. We're now on the mend, but we're still at the last part of our quarantining, trying to get well enough to go in the office without being yelled at. <laughs> so this is what happens when they make everybody go back into the office after being apart for so long. We are just passing around colds, flus, viruses, everything else because our immune systems aren't used to it. So my husband and I have been kind of down and out for over a week, but like I said, we're on the mend. I feel much better today. I sound congested. I still have a little bit of a cough, but at least my energy is back. That was probably the worst part. And thankfully, in a way, <laughs> thankfully it's been kind of a slow month for us anyway. And when it did start to pick up a little bit, my husband was feeling better than I was and he was able to pull the orders for me. So. That was a blessing in disguise, I guess. We are still having a slow month. I'm not sure what the deal is. Most likely it's because I haven't been putting parts in inventory. I've been doing other things, relaxing, playing the Lego Dimension game, actually putting some sets together. For the most part, just carrying on. Hopefully I can spend some time putting some parts into inventory this weekend and the next couple of weeks so that we can kind of pick up again in February because like I said this has been probably our slowest month we've had in years and I'm the only thing I can put it up to now is the fact that I just don't have the inventory that I usually have so my complaining <laughs> here's some of my complaints I have had several buyers ask me to do things that are against my terms and conditions and it's a little annoying because as a seller you want to make the buyer happy. You don't want to point out and say, hey, go read my terms and conditions because I don't want to do this. So it's been really hard to come up with solutions that make them happy and still more or less follow my terms and conditions. One of the things, and this has happened a lot, but it happened again this week, was somebody ordered from me. I was like just minutes away from slapping the shipping label on it, and they sent me a message and say, hey, I wanna add some parts. The problem with this is, <laughs> one is they did instant checkout. They've already paid. So now I need them to do a new order but I need them to also meet a minimum of at least a dollar so that it covers all the fees. Cause I still have to pay PayPal fees, BrickLink fees, taxes and everything else on this order. So if they buy two five cent parts for 10 cents, I'm gonna be in the hole like 80 cents. I asked them politely if they would be willing to at least order a dollar. I'm not sure what the response is yet but I'm never quite sure how to do that because I don't want to give parts away. I'm not here to just hand out my parts. You can't go into Walmart and say, oh, I forgot this, I'm just gonna take it. You know, I don't know why they expect that for online businesses, but I've had more than a couple people say, hey, just throw a couple parts in there. No, <laughs> not doing that. That's kind of a pet peeve of mine is that people don't read the terms and conditions because I clearly state that once you have paid for the order that you need to create a new order and i will combine it i'll throw it in with her original order it's not that big a deal but it is a big deal that she needs to at least meet a dollar minimum to help cover all the different fees and stuff i have to pay and yeah if it's two five cent parts i could just throw them in there 
The problem with that is once you start doing that and doing that a lot, you start losing money <laughs> and I don't want to get in that habit. So that's my pet peeve. That's one of my complaints. The other complaint is I ordered some micro fighter sets, the Star Wars micro fighter sets on Amazon because I realized I was a little behind on keeping up with the series. And this drives me crazy when it's a little Lego box, they put it in an envelope. And this has happened to me three times now. And I'm going to put up some pictures of what the package looked like when I got it. And I'm not happy, but because I plan on just putting these together anyway, I don't plan on saving the box. It's for my personal collection. It's not a big deal. None of the parts got broken, so I'm not going to go back to Amazon and say, what the heck? It is another pet peeve. It's like they really need to learn to put those in small boxes to ship them because they always come scrunched because those boxes are very flimsy. My next complaint has to do with the Big Bang Theory set, which I did a Lego haul on, I think over the summer. I paid a lot more than I should have to get this because I didn't order it when it was available. And I've been putting it together and I'm really happy with the build up to a point. I started to do this part here, which is the carpet and it's tiles and there's some one by one dark red tiles that is used for this. Out of the eight dark red tiles that I needed, seven of them snapped in half. And of course I'm thinking, what am I doing wrong? <laughs> because nothing else has done that, just those and one one by one reddish brown plate. But you know, as we know, reddish brown is notorious for cracking anyway. But this is the first time I've ever had a new set with new parts. The box hadn't been opened, the bags hadn't been opened, so they were brand new parts and eight of those tiles cracked. And I'm not happy because I've kind of jimmied them into it just so I can finish this build and I'm gonna have to order some more to be able to fix those parts. And I'm just curious if anybody else has had that issue. If you have, go ahead and leave a comment below. Like I said, I know the reddish brown is notorious for breaking. I've had quite a few of those that have broken. As you can see, there was also a dark red tile um, that got broken. This was parts that I was using for my fire station. And those had broke as well as I was building that. But these were used parts, so I kind of expected those to break. But I'm shocked that these new parts are. So if anybody else has had that experience, just let me know in the comments below. The, the last little rant I have is just stuff that we do as sellers. My husband and I, we have made quite a few mistakes lately. And I'm not sure if it is because we have had a slow month so we're just kind of rushing through the orders that we do get so we can go and do other stuff or if some of this is because we weren't feeling all that well when we did these orders and we were just kind of in a daze while we were doing it but we have made mistakes my husband even sent out a non lego part which he explained what he did was he had the two parts and one of them was non-lego and the other one was cracked so he wasn't going to use either but apparently he walked away came back looked at one of the parts and goes oh so that's cracked threw that in the filler box but then he looked at the other one and went oh that's okay and put it into inventory forgetting that it was a non-lego part and so of course we sent it out somebody called us on it and we had to refund the money for the part but it's little things like that that we're doing. So I'm basically complaining about myself and the way we're handling the business lately. And I've actually really been considering just closing down the store for two or three weeks just to give myself a break. Not worry about putting stuff in the inventory, not worrying about orders, not worrying about having to keep customers happy that aren't reading my terms and conditions in the first place. And I'm just wondering if there's anybody out there that has done that or they just get to the point where they're burnt out. It's really hard to do this 
full time while you're also working a full time 40 hour a week job, especially when you have family obligations, you're not feeling well, and there's just other stuff going on in your life. So it is something I'm considering. I don't know if I will do that anytime soon. We are going to be going on vacation the first part of April. So I am kind of tempted to maybe take the last week of March off and the first two weeks of April, depending on how our sales are. That's the thing that worries me the most is being closed down and losing those sales and losing your favorite customers or people who have favorited your store because you're closed down for two or three weeks. I probably need to do that just to give myself a break. I got up this morning and thought, what kind of video am I gonna make? And all I could think about was all the stuff that's been irritating me lately <laughs> that has to do with Lego. And I don't wanna get to that point where every one of my videos is a rant or a complaint or a vent to you, you guys, because that's not why you come here. You come here for information. But this is just the way I've been feeling lately and I just wanted to, explain why I didn't make a video last week and why this one is the way it is. I just think I really do need to take some time for myself and really refocus so that when I do come back, I enjoy doing this again because lately, this used to be my stress relief from my day job. I would come home, I'd be all excited to come out here and do inventory and work on orders and respond to people's inquiries. And now whenever I get an email for an order, I'm like, oh, another order. And I don't wanna be that way. I wanna enjoy this. This is supposed to be my happy place and it hasn't been lately. So I'm really hoping that maybe taking a couple of weeks off will make me miss it and I will come back with a much better attitude. I'm very nervous about closing down my store at the same time. So if there's anybody who has done that before, just taken a break, closed down their store to just um, mentally reassess what you're doing, I would love to hear from you. So go ahead and leave a comment below. And I think I'm gonna call that a day. <laughs> Sorry, this wasn't a little bit more informative or more fun, but there's gonna be those weeks. That's just the way it is this week. But I do hope everybody's having a good week. Please stay healthy. <laughs> stay away from sick people, <laughs> if possible. That was hard for me to do, being in the office. But I hope you stay happy and healthy, and I will see you next week. <laughs> Bye.